Welcome back to final round action here at Rwellen Castle. And it's really hotting up coming down these final stages. Our leader, Tim Rice, at the 15th hole. What's your trick in windy conditions, Ross? Slow down. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've said it before, when it's breezy, swing it easy, but it is a must, isn't it? Absolutely. It just the quality of your strike, if that improves, I think you, the ball goes further. And in fact, I preferred playing into wind than downwind. This one playing straight downwind. Just a little off the right. Played a little gem there. That might propel his confidence as if he can uh, slot that baby in. Oof, that must have been a horrible line there. Could only move it 20 yards. Has he been in all sorts of trouble? Oh, straight under it. The first poor chip he's played, isn't it? That, everything else has been very good. Maybe a sign of nerves there. Yeah, 609 yards, and right now, young Charlie Lydiard will be wishing, wishing this hole was over quickly. Oh, my goodness, will he ever Let's even add into his woes of this hole? Oof. Birdie attempt. Good strike in. That is huge. Huge moment. Pulaski, that one. That is just what the doctor ordered. Slotting a birdie on that hole. Makes this one different. Oh, well done. I tell you what, that's a great. I tell you what, he's really focused hard. Once last killed that putt, you know he's really dug deep there to bring out that. Well, you can't really say much here, can you? Really, tenth shot. I mean, shows you how windy it is. Look at the signs blowing down out there as well. I mean, these are tough conditions. I think he's wondering how many he's had. Unfortunately, it's 11. Oof. Big, big number. That's a lovely shot. 17th, a good par three. He's laid up beautiful Tim here. Ridge nine iron in his hand. Maybe a bit more. Ooh, hopefully that's caught that front trap. Troubles, Pulaski. A strong lad. If anyone can get out of this and have an impact, it's him. Whoa, ball. Whoa. Oof. That's a beastie putt he's left himself. This could be a really important moment. Go, go. Oh, my goodness. Hey. I don't believe it. Doesn't he know it? He knows the importance of that because 18 is such a tough hole. That is your chance to get that birdie. He has caught the bunker. You can tell with his action. He's near lit. Probably plugged as well the way that came in. He needed to try that split hand shot that you showed us earlier, John. <laughs> I think I got a bit lucky with mine. I tell you what, he's played that really well, though. I mean, we all know bunker shots come out with so much top spin. And uh, to be fair, it like he's done that a few times. Awkward long-range putt, as you said. And he's judged the distance very well. That was awesome. A bit more enthusiasm from the crowd, please. Lasky. It's got a bogey putt to come, and it looks like it's going to be a bogey for Rice as well. So, little did Oliver Far know. Yeah, that's right in it. Got oh, this. Very demanding. Long, long iron in his hand here, probably in a region of a four iron. Really, I'm going to pump it up there. 
And I tell you what, he has played an absolute cracker. Super shot, man. Really good shot. Right. Under pressure, found the fairway, oh. found the green. I took the words out of my mouth there, Ross. Beautiful. Still maintaining his rhythm, Lasky. Not out of it yet. No, and that's an absolute cracker. Beautiful goal shot under the pressure. Now this. Oh, Ross. This could put the cat amongst the pigeons. Oh. Terrific effort. It was. Let's play those last two holes fantastic. Not got any reward for two great shots in. So Rice has made his first bogey of the day. Well, there's got a bit of work there to stop making it a brace. I tell you what, that's uh, a great round. Shame for that 11th hole. Really punished him. Double bogey. But a great 69 in those conditions. Came back well from that double bogey. Three oh. birdies there. Yeah, he dug deep. He really did. Another oh. big moment here. This is huge. Come on. Oh, side door job. Very good, Lasky. Very good. That's a hell of a two on that 17th. And what a time to make a birdie. Makes this putt a bit different. And this is a must for Tim. Or chip. Well done. They've just got one hole to go. John took a look at it. Here we are at the 18th hole. Final hole. Par four. 491 yards. Ridiculous. I mean, there used to be 474 was the limit on par fours, but this one is a monster. Absolute monster. Out of bounds all the way down the right hand side from start to finish. Unbelievable big thick trees and you've got Bundai and thick rough and trees on your left. Quite an open fairway, but look at that castle in the distance. Absolutely unbelievable. And then you've got the big bunkers wrapped around the green. You know, absolutely awesome. What can I say about it? I mean, I can't resist but having a pop on this. If I can't get there in two, there's something wrong with me. But anyway, I'm going to give it a good old crack, guys. So bear with me. Little practice swing. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. That's not my real swing. I can just put one on sensibly here. Now, come on, when it's breezy, nice and easy. Smoker. Happy days. I might have to buy this club. Right, to the next, to the next. On my second shot in, I got about a four iron. It's over 200 yards long to go. Uphill, into wind. I mean, the castle in the background, unbelievable. They say it's haunted. I mean, that would put the weebie jeebies up me as well. I mean, I'm going to have to bust one here, man. As Stubbs said, it's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. Just easing the tension, baby. Come on. Oh, and I tell you what, he's hit the nail on the head. Turn, baby. And he's up. What a par four. What a great finishing hole. I mean, these guys got to seriously bring their A game because this hole needs it. So, big tee shot here. Kept his rhythm. He did, but he doesn't look like he's happy. But I tell you what, if there's a place to miss it, that is it. And it looks to be lying very nice. Three wood off the tee. Very Mickelson-like. There's a bit of help off the left. Maybe he just felt I could just drift it off with that sort of club. Interested spectators. Yeah, all on their phones, like everyone else nowadays. So here's the situation. Rice, six under. In the clubhouse, far six under. And Lasky, six under. Oh. And I tell you what, we could have seen someone easily go to seven there. If that had just bit a little bit, but got such a long iron in your hand. Hard to stop it. Also coming out of the rough. Bunkers waiting. Good rhythm again. 
That's going left though. Ooh, not as bad as I thought. This part chewing on a fingernail or two. You should be having some practice swings or practice putts getting ready for the playoff if it's if there is going to be one. Mm. Ooh, bit of work to be done there. Again, he came up and out of that putt. So you think you'd have a ride at that one? You know, that's probably could be for the win. You know, and prizes for being short. Lasky, come on, buddy. He doesn't get it there either. Hold on. That's an absolute baffling moment for me. I thought he would be both of them giving it a ride. Oliver Farr is now thinking, right, I've got to get my clubs back out again. And he's going to be joined by Tim Rice. That solitary bogey in this round, 71. Lasky, what might have been. He's in the playoff as well. And look at that for a round of golf. Topsy turvy. That seven really costing him. I mean, he won it by three shots if that was a juicy part. So this is how it stands as we go into the playoff. It's going to be between three players, Lasky, Farr and Rice. They're going to be playing the 18th hole. Good round from Moriarty and Forgan, 69s from them, and a 68 from Rodri McGee. In the first playoff hole, Oliver Farr had this for a birdie. It wasn't to be, but he would make his four. Birdie putt for Rice, missed on the left-hand side. He made par. And Lasky, another chance to win. So they go down the 18th again, John. Yep, yeah, he's hit a great drive down the left-hand side. Second shot in, oh, he's leaning a bit. He's a bit cautious. Oh, now that is a tough chip. Well, maybe not. I mean, there's a bit of greener work where there's going to be into him. He can be quite positive with that one. Oh, Mr. Rice. Be a good swing. Yeah, Going straight at it, isn't it? Yeah, he's staring it down. I tell you what, he's hit two great iron shots into there over the last uh, three times he's played it. Big drive from Lasky. It's in ideal shape. Looked like he was just pushing a little six iron in. Yeah, very, very Donald like, you know, very Luke Donald. A lot of rhythm to his swing. Don't look at like a lot of effort, and it goes a good distance. I'm very lucky with the weather on this final day. Now pitching it on the edge of the green. Yep. Ooh, took a soft bounce. So a birdie attempt here. What does he do? Go for it or lag it down there? Nah, you've got to have a go for it. Come on, you're in this moment now. Oh, he's lagged in the jaw again. Right, Tim, it's down to you. Can you seal it? Come on, no prizes for being short. Still no prize. God. I mean, such a tough hole, really, though, Ross, to get a birdie on. You know, it really is a massive, massive hole. I mean... Uh, I Are mean, you saying that it's more likely to be a par that wins this? Yeah, definitely. I can't see a birdie winning it. I mean, this is to stay in it. Oh, and he's out. We'll stem from the second shot. It was quite a straightforward chip, but not to be so we go back to the 18th tee again and then there was two three wood again a bit back in the stance trying to rip it under the wind 
Ooh, it's all about the lie. They seem to nestle down. On the right. Yeah, definitely there, Ross. He's stuck to the game plan. And that's another crunching drive. Great drive. The important thing in this match play, you get your shot in first, don't you? I mean, that's a poor tee shot there from Rice. It is, and he's got the old little uh, hybrid out, little rescue club, popping it up in the air. Seemed to come out quite hot. It did, didn't it? left himself there's a big slope there he's got to come down now that's gonna have a great touch great vision needed now on this next one for him starting it just right trying to draw this one in that's a good shot great balance through his swing there Is going to win this. They haven't got a clue. I mean, we've seen some great things in our times, but this, if this went in, well, my goodness. It's a big putt. Yeah, good for pace, but didn't quite get the line right. Yeah, great for pace. So Lasky, does he roll it up and ask the question of Rice, or does he go for it? I think you kind of roll it up. Yep, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, put the pressure right on Mr. Rice. Asking all the questions now. Just to stay in it. And for old Tim, a great tournament. I mean, well done, Alaski. Great win. Yes, indeed, John. And that will. Elevate him up to number one in the 888 Poker PGA Euro Pro Tour. It's now time for him to take the spoils with Charlotte. Mark, you've got to talk to you about your final round. First of all, how do you feel your first win this season on the Euro Pro Tour? Oh, it's great to get the first win. It's been a long time coming. I've had five seconds now, so it's a bit of a hurdle that I finally broke through. So hopefully kick on from here. You did have that four-shot lead at the beginning of the day. At that point, did you think it was in the bag? I wasn't thinking that far ahead, but I was playing nicely, so I thought I could just cruise it on and keep trying to push on and make birdies, and then a couple of sloppy mistakes, and, and I was starting to lose my head a little bit, but I kept it together. How did you pick yourself up when you lost that lead? I just thought I'm playing good enough, I'm putting well, so I can make birdies to get it back, so there's some tough holes to finish. I didn't want, to, didn't want to throw it away through mentally being poor, so I just kept fighting and fortunately it was good enough. So now this is just the start of some more wins then for the rest of the season? Hopefully so. Well, congratulations once again, the 2013 Rualan Castle Open champion, Mark Lasky. Thank you. Well, the Euro Pro Tour will be staying in Scotland for the ninth event of the season at Mar Hall. It's been a terrific week here in Scotland for Mark Lasky winning his first event on the Europro Tour. So from John Morgan and myself, Ross McFarlane, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>